Hello everyone. In this video, you'll be praying and receiving very powerful prophetic declarations over your life from the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. The Bible said in John 13 20, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that receiveth whomsoever I send, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. Let your heart be opened as you pray and receive. God bless you. The Lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. It says to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. There are many of you, you are not sick, but the fear that is on you, you get up in the morning, will an accident happen? You just feel something small in your body and the devil says death. It's the voice of the enemy, I want to silence it right now. Every voice that is planting fear, in Jesus' name, that voice is hereby silenced forever. Silence forever. Silence forever. I prophesy over you, you shall not die. No untimely death in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Anybody that is plotting evil against you, whether kidnap or accident or sickness, in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow them. Let the earth open and swallow them in the name of Jesus Christ. Any charm, any coven, any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you, I declare that the power fails instantly. Let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job. In the name of Jesus, may Ebenezer, the helper of men, surprise you. In the name of Jesus. Every ministry here, every business that is dead or dying, everything in your hand that is dying you are holding something that is dying i give it life now let it come back to life now your business comes back to life your body comes back to life your ministry comes back to life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah whatever has taken the glory of the lord upon your life for Samson, it was Delilah that took that glory from him. For Gideon, something happened and he, the least person, the least in his father's house, all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation. Whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life, you used to be great. You used to be anointed. You used to be favored. Something happened and you just started drying up like a tree. In the name of Jesus, may the restorer restore you tonight. I say it again. May the restorer restore you tonight. May the restorer restore you tonight. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Any door that was once open for good, and whether by mistakes on your part, by not understanding the laws that keep doors open or by some demonic thing that door closed whether doors of favor doors of relationship doors into the heart of great men i stand and call upon he that has the key of david the one that openeth and no man shut it and shut it and no man open it i speak to that door a fatter be open be open be open the door to the hearts of kings be open the door to your destiny help us heart be open in the name of jesus christ can i pray for your finances for as long as i live i will not only see to it that you are vibrant spiritually and growing in influence i believe in economic empowerment where god empowers the right hands once god has a heart that loves him and that you are able to use resources to better your life and to advance the cause of the kingdom there are no restraints to him making wealth available are we together by this prayer for some of you what you will be receiving is wisdom 
by this prayer what some of you will be receiving is access to the right resources but then in the name of Jesus I pray the Bible says believe it says and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved it says believe the Lord your God so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper I pray for you God who has shown many help God who has shown many mercy picking men from unbelievable pits and raising them to places of honor I call upon that God to surprise you in your finances no more dryness in your finances personally corporately no more dryness hear me if there is any one of you here who is owing whether as a company whether as an individual i don't care owing is owing anybody who is owing in the name of jesus christ i place an unction upon you come out of that debt now come out of that financial situation now in the name of jesus christ in the next few minutes i want to pray over your life many of you will be surprised that by reason of this impartation you will go back home and they will tell you that someone has been manifesting under the influence of spirits you will stand and you will think it's a joke you will say in the name of jesus and watch those devils leave in a moment never to return and then you will see doors open over your family members they will call you pastor and you say i'm not a pastor they say that's that's none of our business whoever can cast out a devil like this is our pastor how about sickness there are some of you who will carry these hands that you see God has given you it's not just for eating you will carry these hands and lay it upon people and watch with wonder growths satanic manifestations in their bodies will just dry up like that and they will ask you what happened and you will tell them it's true that God gives gifts to men God can give gifts to men God can empower men and then some of you when the grace for favor rests upon your life i heard one of our dear sisters who was testifying here you will marvel and wonder it does not take long for this to happen you will see god moving in your life in a way that will surprise you ideas you did not think of downloaded in your spirit strategies by the spirit on what to do and what not to do all it be by the spirit i want you to rise in one minute and you are going to pray one prayer and then i pray for you father in the name of jesus i open up my heart and i open up my spirit to receive the impartation that positions me to manifest this kingdom authority even within this end time i want to be an effective battle axe i want to be an effective believer not just one who comes to receive in church but one who one who becomes an extension of that power go ahead and pray once upon a time the disciples could not cast out spirits once upon a time the disciples could not pray for the sick once upon a time they could not enjoy and experience the blessings of the lord but something came upon them go ahead and pray take a minute to pray ladies and gentlemen a global family connecting from across the globe this is what God wants to do in this season. Dominion over unclean spirits. Bringing liberty to men. Ministering the spirit. Releasing families. Releasing captives. Dominion over sicknesses, diseases, infirmity, death. Dominion over economic financial limitations that have plagued the body of Christ someone pray please look up is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority over unclean spirits yes do you have to be a man of god to access that privilege 
in terms of ministry no in terms of knowing god yes can you have authority over sickness disease untimely death yes sir is there a grace that can enhance that reality yes sir can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you yes sir is there a grace that controls that possibility yes sir can men receive it yes can it be made manifest here and now yes sir i'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive so open up your spirit as i pray for you father you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of christ that there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding and then to access the requisite grace i'm praying right now for a man of god here i'm praying right now for a businessman here i'm praying for a prophet an apostle an evangelist a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of christ i decree and declare authority over unclean spirits receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now that from tonight in the name of jesus you will not have to bring them to joshua selman that you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you in the name of jesus christ number two in the name of jesus i first pray for you the sickness that will kill you may it never come near your body the sickness that will deteriorate your organs may it never come near your destiny and if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is having any planting in their body that is not by my god i command it to jump out of your life with these anointed hands may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the spirit in the name of jesus christ number three in the name of jesus christ the grace that quickens your mind then quickens your hand then draws men to you to make for supplies in your life in the name of jesus i place that grace on your head i place that grace on your head i speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you that is not giving you peace you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met this week i stand by the prophetic and the apostolic may my god raise strange help for you may my god raise strange help for you in the name of jesus hear me anyone here who may have lost in business you've lost money you've lost clients you've lost opportunity in the name of jesus i place a grace on you go back and excel for the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom go back and excel and there are many of you here while you sleep in the night the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising in the name of jesus christ koinonia hear me nobody under the sound of my voice will die before their time nobody under the sound of my voice will have to live their life begging for tea and prayer every family here 
that is going through any kind of limitation in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I am praying let my God arise and help you any human agent who has been ordained by God to help you and support you as you rise they may have forgotten you they may have been ill advised against you but I'm praying this week may my God use them to bring his word to pass in your life now I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead I activate every virgin dimension in your life that is required for you to rise and do greater works receive that grace now in the name of Jesus let the spirit of prayer and supplication like never before rest upon your life I impart upon you this moment the spirit of wisdom receive it in the name of Jesus from today you begin to make extraordinary decisions that move your destiny forward in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare God's servant Bishop Oedeko will say there is a spirit of faith and he came to a people a generation as a representation of the spirit of faith that came from Papa Hagin and was imparted upon him I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the faith that works that moves mountains may that grace be imparted upon you now and I pray for you I have taught you that there is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value wealth answers to productivity wealth answers to relationships wealth answers to a lot of things financial intelligence however we are not left without an advantage i decree and declare the kind of wealth that your hand is yet to handle may my god the giver of all good things surprise you with it in this season number five the force of influence for some of you by reason of this impartation nobody has known you now but between now and the end of the year in the name of Jesus let the grace for visibility rest upon you let the grace for visibility rest upon you may kings hear about you may nobles hear about you may heads of government hear about you in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that announces your gift the grace that announces your value the grace that announces your contribution whether in business or in whatever area I decree and declare everyone who is seated in the position of authority who needs to hear about you may the angels speak to them about you may God use men to speak to them about you finally in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic every door that has been closed over your life stopping you from making destiny advancement in this year of open doors I command those doors be open now be open now I place a prophetic word on your head that everywhere you go let it compel men to favor you let it compel men to favor you hear me any long-standing battle that you have been fighting in the name of Jesus as Moses lifted his hands for victory I stand as a privileged servant of God and I lift up my hands before Jehovah Nisi may that battle come to an end now may that battle come to an end now there are some of you who have not laughed this year 
you have watched others laugh but laughter has been far from you it's from one tragedy to another just when you think you are lifting your head another problem comes i say it again the bible says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved i stand in the name of jesus the one who calls and anoints men i place grace on your life rise above every challenge rise above every limitation therefore Koinonia, I speak to you. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. Whatever has reduced you to a place of shame and mockery, reduced your family, ordained for greatness, but brought down because of the absence of economic resources. May my God, who is the lifter of men, in this season that the church is stepping into, in the name of Jesus, may God prosper you for greater works. May my God prosper you for greater works. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready to receive? In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, the one who has raised men and the one who has anointed men, I speak over your life and I speak over your destiny. Every affliction that has brought you tears, that has brought you shame, that has brought you pain, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare that affliction comes to an end now. 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 He said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I've come as a voice of restoration and in the name of Jesus I prophesy to someone I stand by the God who has raised men. The one who has given the grace to appoint unto men in the name of Jesus return with strange testimonies return with strange testimonies. I program strange testimonies around your life in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to everyone in ministry here. I don't know what has brought you down. I don't know what is the area of struggle. But I prophesy to you, rise to the place of prophecy. Rise to the place of destiny. Rise to the place of prophecy. Rise to the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. You may be here and your affliction has to do with losses and pains. You lost money, you lost things, you lost relationships, you lost opportunities. In the name of Jesus, like Samuel prophesied to Saul, I decree and declare, may that missing donkey, whatever it is, I command it to return back to your life. I command it to return back to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare you see look at me when it has to do with the world of men the way you pray over men is different from the way you pray over things because things were not given dominion so you can command them but when it has to do with men you can't command men per se because God honors their will are we together but there is a name God is called the father of spirits have you heard of that name before the father of spirits means every spirit can be summoned by him. The body is a slave to the spirit. Even those who practice witchcraft know this. When they summon people, they don't summon their bodies. Your body can remain in the room there and they can summon your spirit and manipulate it and return it back to the body and you wake up a victim of what has happened in the spirit. There is a name God is called the father of your boss is a spirit you know that your business is first a spirit ah yes sir james said in chapter 2 and 26 a body without a spirit is dead situations are alive because they have spirits connected to them if you separate that situation from the spirit the situation will die because it becomes a body without a spirit i'm saying this because of the prayer i want to pray for you I may not have the power to command a human being to come to violate their will, 
but I can say like Michael said the Lord rebuke you so I can call on the God who is the father of spirit and cause him to summon the spirit of your destiny helper and insist that they find no rest till they bless you in the name of Jesus Christ and insist that they arise by the spirit and partner with prophecy over your life I decree this in the name of Jesus Christ the father of spirits watch him in action when he woke a hazard